Hello again. This is Lawrence Wagner, Senior Engineer for Anderson Radiant Heating. This video will discuss the operation of your Eichler heating system. Most of the Eichler homes were designed with a single zone of control. Since radiant heating doesn't react quickly, it is recommended the thermostat be set at a comfortable level and never changed. Trying to anticipate the heat gain is simply guesswork and not required. Studies have shown maintaining the temperature at one set level can result in as much as a 19% savings in fuel and is the best economy of operation. The original design is based upon a maximum slab temperature of 85 degrees Fahrenheit which will provide 70 degrees within the home when the outside temperature is 30 degrees. The temperature most people live at is 65 to 68 degrees. This might seem cool for a warm air heating system, but not for radiant heat. Radiant heating allows you to live at a cooler temperature because of the effects of the heating system. It heats the furniture, the carpeting, the walls, the draperies, and the glass. And since these items are all the same temperature, heat is not drawn from the body by the object around you to make you feel cold. Almost all the heat generated by the system goes to heat the interior space of the home. Design engineers agree that radiant heating is a great concept and 30% or more efficient than any other type of heating system for your Eichler home. Would you ever want to abandon it for a different system? Not if the system is repairable. The two types of thermostats in the Eichler home are mechanical and mercury bulb with 120 volt and 24 volt circuitry. It is very important when changing the thermostat to install one of the proper voltage. The high voltage thermostats can lose calibration. We recommend the original thermostat to be replaced with a manual digital model making control of the home temperature more precise and boiler operation more efficient. You can use an auto setback thermostat in a Nykler home if the voltage is matched for the application. Again, let me make it clear that this is not recommended, yet many owners choose to do so. If you do, the thermostat functions more like a floor warming system. These are ineffective with the older boiler systems, but may be doable with a new high efficiency boiler. When using an auto setback thermostat, never set the temperature back more than three degrees with the older boilers. The reason is simple. It takes too long to regain the internal temperature and more BTU to reheat the slab than to offset the heat loss of the Eichler home. One of the new thermostats on the market is the Nest. We have customers who use them. I believe they are not applicable to most Eichler homes other than being able to remotely turn on the system and monitor the house temperature. It is a very new product for the application. We need more feedback from owners using them to determine their effectiveness in the Eichler home. There are other computer interfaces, equipment, and control applications that may perform this on-off function for much less cost. We have found that the Nest is not always compatible with the high efficiency boiler wiring and may require the addition of an isolation relay to control the boiler switching function. Can you control individual room temperatures? Yes, and it is performed by adjusting the manifolds located in a central closet or at the boiler. It looks like this. The manifold represents the return lines from each area of the home and is labeled. Where the labeling has been removed, it is a guess as to which room is controlled by which valve. An experienced hydronic service person may be able to determine the matching combination, but trial and error may need to be the approach. Each bedroom, bathroom, living room, family room, laundry room, kitchen, etc. has a balance valve to control the flow of water to its particular area. Sometimes a single balance valve will control more than one area. The original Eichler design called for all the balance valves to be fully opened during operation. Closing these valves can be detrimental to the overall heating effect and may cause you to use more energy 
with less comfort. Damage to the existing balance valves can occur when attempting adjustment. It is only soft brass and care must be taken. We recommend only a service person perform any adjustment. Some of the manifolds have been replaced with gate and globe valves. We never use this type of valve since it is not possible to determine the valve travel to adjust a specific flow rate. The original balance valve or an equivalent is best since they allow an accurate adjustment. Closing a balance valve can reduce the water flow to a room resulting in less heat. However, the heat will be directed to another area. A screwdriver slot in the center of the valve is used for the adjustment. After loosening the brass retaining nut with a 5 8 inch wrench, using a large screwdriver, turn the slot either left or right 90 degrees to stop 95% of the flow in that circuit. If the valve does not turn easily, stop immediately because it can be stripped and damaged. When the slot is in line with the tubing, it is fully opened. When it is 45 degrees, either left or right, it is 50% closed. Do not partially or fully close too many of the valves for it will affect the, op the boiler operation and could damage the system. An infrared camera is very helpful in balancing the flow rates in the individual circuits. These valves are not 100% shut off to the water flow. If you have a concealed radiant leak, closing the valve will not stop the leak. See the diagram at radiantheat.net under Eichler Homes and the Operational Checklist for a detailed explanation of the adjusting procedure. We have had success creating two zones of control for the Eichler Home where there are two manifolds. It works best with a new high efficiency boiler with superior modulation. It does allow separate temperature control of the bedroom and living areas over a single zoned system. Thank you for joining me once again. I hope this information helps you understand and enjoy your Eichler heating system. Please visit our website at radiantheat.net for more information. Until next time, this is Lawrence Wagner, Senior Engineer for Anderson Radiant Heating, wishing you the best.